Yo, what's up, MLB fan? This is the one, the only Mark Spencer for the MLB trade rumors for December. What's the day today? <laughs> okay, the big blockbuster trade has finally gone down, folks. Less than an hour ago, according to John Heyman, tweets on his Twitter page that uh, a three-way deal has been agreed to send Holiday to the Phillies, Lee to the Mariners. The Phillies are now trying to extend the holiday, so I'll give him a contract extension. It looks like it'll be a three-year contract extension. I feel that's what it probably will be. And uh, here's another report at 2.36 p.m. Eastern. Morrissey tweets that uh, MLB hasn't granted the Phillies permission to negotiate with holiday yet, but the deal looks close. Um, according to Comcast Sportsnet's Jim Salop, Salisbury, says reports today that the Phillies are actively talking about a contract extension with Roy Halladay and his agent from two baseball sources. So, yeah. So, I mean, the blockbuster deal is complete. Lee goes to the the Blue, to the to Seattle Mariners, and it looks like the Toronto Blue Jays will be getting a bunch of prospects in return here. Uh, it's a salary dump. I don't know who else is part of the deal, but... I feel that this is a it's a pretty good deal. I mean, for all who's involved, I mean, I mean sometimes you don't get to see great deals, great blockbuster deals on a Monday. But hey, this is a good deal. I think for the Philadelphia Phillies, it's a good deal for them. I don't really like it. I don't think Roy Holiday gets them back to the World Series. I don't think Roy Holiday is a good National League pitcher. He's going to struggle in the National League. Don't forget. I remember one time he said, you know, he didn't like playing in the National League because he had to hit. So he's going to really have to hit now. And I think they're going to figure out Roy Halladay early into the 2010 season. This is going to be a bad trade for them, personally. I think Roy Halladay is pretty, pretty much an American League pitcher. Um, I don't know. Roy Halladay's been solid all his career. He's played in the American League. You know, he's played sometimes in the National League and in the interleague play. But, you know, he's really struggled in the National League. Um, I noticed in starts he had from now since 2000, him playing in the National League, it was not good. He got clobbered quite a bit. I mean, he's one of the most dominant pitchers in baseball, don't get me wrong, but I think he's going to really, really struggle baseball fans in the National League. But Philadelphia fans, don't worry. I think Holiday will be okay, but I really feel that next year he'll struggle. He'll struggle out of the gate. He'll probably lose his first three games, but he'll turn it around because they have such a great team led by Ryan Howard. Um, um, you know, Jimmy Rollins and the rest of the gang. So, I mean, this team's stacked. They're looking for another World Series run again, but I don't think they're going to have a chance this year. I think the Mets are the team you got to watch out for. And I like what the Braves have done. They traded Rafael Soriano to the to the Rays, and I got a good young pitcher in return. They have they signed just recently um, um, to, um, to Kakashi Saito and Billy Wagner, one of the greatest closers of all time. So, not bad. And I like what the Chicago White Sox have recently done, folks. I mean, after the winter meetings, they're officially done now. So, I mean, acquiring J.J. Putz, you know, the former closer of the Seattle Mariners, former setup man of the New York Mets. So, I think uh, this is a great move by Ken Williams. I think this is a move that's going to really give this Chicago White Sox team a chance. I mean, now they got Andrew Jones, uh, Alex Rios. I mean, he's made some timely moves. And I think it's all going to come together. You know, that's the one thing that Chicago needs is pitching. The more pitching you get, the better chance you can be playing in October and November for the World Series. So, I mean, this is a good move for the Chicago White Sox. They haven't won a World Series since 2005. So, I think they're looking at maybe going for another one. So, we'll see what happens. And for the Toronto Blue Jays, um, this is a big deal for them. This is a um, team alternating deal. I mean, this came from ownership. Uh I mean, Alex turned top of this. This was a big move for him uh, as a young general manager. Um, we'll just have to see where they go from here, the Toronto Blue Jays. I think they'll be good next year. I mean, they have some good young pitching in their system. And I'm just going to have to see who else they acquired in this deal for Holiday. Um, so we'll just see what happens. Oh, another breaking news story, folks. It looks like the, the Boston Red Sox have... Uh, I've agreed to terms with um, 
John Lackley, according to John Heyman again from Sports Illustrated, um, the Red Sox and Lackey agreed are in agreement on a five year deal worth eighty five million. Same thing for Yahoo Sports Tim Brown. So if you go to yahoosports dot com, uh, you'll check out Tim Brown's page, and he says here that um, the Angels source believes that's still running for Lackey. Blah, blah, blah. Well, well, the Angels still believe they have a chance of signing Lackey, but it looks to me like it's official deal. I don't know what's going on, but I think Lackey will be heading to the the Boston Red Sox. So if the Red Sox did sign Lackey to five years, $85 million, good for Lackey. Um, I think they might be out of the Jason Bay hunt and the Matt Holiday hunt. So don't be surprised if the St. Louis Cardinals or the New York Mets get Bay. Um, New York Mets might get Bay. I think they'll give them five years, probably $95 million. So I'm watch for the... The St. Louis Cardinals will probably give Holiday eight years, a hundred and twenty million. So don't be surprised. So we'll see what happens, folks. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching the MLB trade rumors for December fourteenth, two thousand nine. This is the one, the only, Mark Spencer. Bye bye. <laughs>